Hello, Edgar. Welcome, Edgar, Alex, Cecilia. Good to see you. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hold on. Let me turn my camera back on here. How are you? How was how was work today? It, it was pretty good. It was pretty what good. About you? Yes. Oof, it's been tiring. Really, mm. really, really, really. You have a tiring. full schedule. Not not here. I have another I have another job, but I had to go to the office today. Um okay. I had to go to the office. Oh Jesus Christ. Hold on. My backpack. Mm -hmm. All right. So so yeah, I had to go to the office today. And uh that was like very, very early. So I had to wake up at five and then um and then I had to deliver like like class the whole day, right? Okay, you you have been a long day. It's been a long day, yes. So then, then you know, then then I, ha I had to drive all the way over here. But man, you know, I work, I work in, uh, I work in Merliot, you know. Mm. That's 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 where my offices are. My, Far my, away from you. No, no, because I live in in La Constitución. You know, no. No. not too far, but hold on, hold on, okay. But dude, I, mm -hmm. I, I guess it's because of you know it's because of uh, the rain that we have we've had recently, right? But I left my workplace at five thirty p.m. or around that time today, so so I'm driving my you know so, so I start, so I started driving, and the the whole the whole uh, the whole street from La Jerusalén. And Mas Ferrer was completely stopped. Like traffic was really, really, really bad. This and kind of rush hour. No, no, but it was not because of that. Because I know, I'm, I mean, you know, you always get traffic. Right? Like traffic is heavy at, at that time. It's like the rush hour, you're right. But imagine, you know, being uh, within that rush hour. And then it turns out that uh, the street, you know, there was a part, there, there was a section from the street um, in La Mas Ferrer that had, um, that, that was, that, that was um, damaged, you know, so it's, it, it, it kind of like um, the, the street, you know, there is a section from the street that, okay. that, that, um, how, like, there, there was a hole in the middle of the street, you know, that is dangerous. Yes, but a big hole. I mean, a big, big, big hole. Mm -hmm. So they had joined the, 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 they, they had split the two lanes. I mean, one lane, you know, they had turned it into two. So yeah. that's why people, you know, cars were not moving forward. It was horrible. It took me like two hours to, to, to get, you know, to my house. <laughs> really, really bad. So, okay. Anyways, uh, and what about you guys? What about you? Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Guys, <laughs> good to see you again. Um, I think we're missing quite a few people. Is it raining where you're at, guys, or not? Is it raining now? It is? Yes. Yes. It's going to start to rain here. Okay. Yes. All right. So, so guys, guys, okay. No. So, I am going, to, I'm going to try to, um, I need to do something urgent with you right now. Okay. Guys, have you finished section number one and two already? Okay, guys. Yes, I do. Finish. Okay. Guys, by tomorrow, by tomorrow, you need to have finished section one and two. Okay. Um, but right now, right now, guys, I'm going to go over the answers from section one. Okay. All right. Okay. So you must have completed it by now, by now, guys. Okay. If you haven't, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna give you the answers. I need to. I need to move forward with the platform with you. Okay. It's okay if we deliver the class later. That doesn't matter. What matters okay. is that you complete section one and two on your own before, uh, before the the start of the second week. Okay. So let's let's take care of that right now, guys, so we can move on with the class. Okay. So let's go over. 
Hold on, what is your thing here? All right, there you go. This one right here, guys. Sorry. All right, so let's go over your section one here, right? So the first one, guys. All right, what is the answer for number one? And do me a favor, guys. If you have not completed it, open your platform right now because we're going to complete them together, okay? Okay, one so second. If you have not completed them, open them. Open it right now so we can complete them here together. Okay. Okay, the first one is was paint was painted by Gustav's Klim. The kiss. All right. So I'm sorry, could you repeat that example again? Was painted by Gustav Klimt. Okay, so let's let's see, right? So the first one was painted by Gustav Klimt. Okay, that mm -hmm. I didn't understand the second part. That was the name, okay? So the song yesterday was recorded by the Beatles. Was recorded by the Beatles. Very, very good. Okay, the film's uh, the Schindler's List was directed by Steven Spielberg. Very good, very good. Uh, the novel Pride and Prejudice, Prejudice, was written by Jane Austen. Very good, very good. Okay, the opera Carmen was composed by George Bissett. Repeat, guys. Composed. Compose. <laughs> All right. And those are the right answers. Thank you very much, sir. All right. And then we have, how many do we have? Two, right? Two. Yeah. We have two, three. three. We, have, we have three, right? So what about this one? Many crops? Are grown. grown. Are grown? In or, is it, or is it where grown? Are grown. Are grown. grown, okay. Are grown, okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, number two. Are consumed. Repeat, consumed. Consumed. Consumed, right? Thank you, teacher. Very consumed. Uh, other crops? Are exported. Are exported, right? Very Export. good. Very good. Rice? Is cultivated. It's cultivated. Repeat, guys. Cultivated. Cultivated. All right. A wide variety of seafood. It's cut. Is cut. cut. Right. Very good. Many people are employed. Are employed. Very good. French and English are spoken. Are spoken. Right. Very good job. The U.S. It's made, made up. It's made up of 56, right? Very good. Uh, number nine. Are raised. Are raised. raised. Repeat raised. Raised. Right. Cars and computers. Are manufactured. Are manufactured. Manufactured. Now, there is a manufacture. <laughs> it's not manufactured, guys. It's manufactured, okay? So... There you go, manufactured in, in Korea, okay? So those are the right answers, very good job. Uh, and the last one is a reading exercise, okay? So he, this one is just about choosing the right answer, guys. So these are the answers, right? Do something unusual, start it. When something is stunning, it is extremely attractive. When something is ancient, it is very old. When something is complementary, it is free of charge. And when something is gooey, it is thick and sticky, right? And that, those are the right answers. Now, do my favorite, guys. I want you guys to understand something, okay? You need to watch the videos and you need to watch to read the exercises. You can do that, okay? Because this is vocabulary, right? If you don't watch the videos, you're not gonna, um, you're not gonna know like what the answers are, okay? So, anyways, okay. those are the the answers for number section number one. Tomorrow, we're gonna go over the answers from section number two. 
So I want you guys by tomorrow, right? Before we start the class tomorrow, in Spanish, guys, antes de que empecemos la clase mañana, necesitan haber terminado la sección 1, la sección 2 y el midterm, ¿ok? All right, <laughs> eso por request de inglés cooperativo. Los topics, siempre vamos a ver todos los topics, pero inglés cooperativo necesita que en la primera semana sea terminado eso, ¿ok? That's it. Los topics, we're going to see the topics either way, ¿ok? Sounds good? Sounds good. All right, so guys, let's finish talking about passive voice, all right? So there is one thing that we're missing about passive voice. What is it? Okay, so yesterday we talked about passive voice in simple present, right? So I want you to, uh, I want to go over, guys, before we do this exercise, right? I want to go over simple past, which is the, uh, the passive voice exercises that we have in the platform, right? So in simple present, guys, right? Or present simple. An example would be, let's say, he uh, plays the guitar, right? So using using by guys, guys, do my favor. If you're, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute you guys just so we can. All right, very good. So if you say guys, he plays the guitar. This is passive or, or active? Passive or active, guys? It's active. Active. Very good. So this right here, guys, would be, as you said, this would be active. Okay. Very good job. Now, if we say, if we were to turn this into passive, how would we say it? The guitar was played. The guitar was played. Was played. Was played by him. The guitar is. It's played, it's played by, by, by him. him, right? Very good. Very good. Why him? Because we have to use an object pronoun, okay? Because this is it. All right, so we went over this yesterday, and we're going to use, guys, the preposition by if we want to talk about who did it, okay? All right? So, guys, we're always going to use the preposition by if we want to talk about who did it, okay? Who performed the action or what performed the action, right? Sounds good? But in this case, guys, you know who did it, right? So if you want to talk about the who, who did it, right? We're going to use by, okay? All right. Now, if we talk in simple past, right? So let's talk about simple past. Give me a sentence in simple past, guys. Remember that this only works if we have an object, okay? All right, so can 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 anybody guys give me a sentence in simple past? Go ahead. Give me the, the active version in simple past. I did my work yesterday. He played. I, I did what? I'm sorry. He played the guitar. I did my work, but sorry, I did my homework yesterday. I did my homework. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, all right, very good. Do we have a subject? Yes, right? Yes. Do we have an object? Yes. Right, um, homework, right? Very good, good job. Homework. Okay, so we can turn it, we can turn it into passive. All right, in that case, what would be the passive version of this? Gabriela Michelle, what would be the passive version of, I did my homework yesterday? The passive This. That will be. My homework was made by me yesterday. My homework, very good. My homework was made. Actually, we cannot use was made because made is another. I can make homework for you guys. I can make, make is to create, right? I can make homework, but you have to do. My homework was done by me yesterday, right? Very good job. Thank you very much, Gavin. All right, that is correct. So guys, we know the structure of simple past tenses, right? The structure of simple past will be, will always be active voice, okay? So the passive version will be this, okay? So I want you to notice something, okay? So I'm gonna use the subject here and I'm gonna use the object here, 
Okay, and I want you to notice what happens here, right? And I'm gonna include the adjective, my here, my homework, okay? So we went back to the same thing that we had before. I did my homework yesterday. My homework was done by me yesterday, right? So what do we have here, guys? Again, we did the same thing, right? We placed, we placed the object where? In this example, guys, where have we placed it? The, the object came to, right? Came to be the subject this time, right? So now we have we have it as the subject, right? All right. What else do you? What else do we need, guys? We need. Aside from the subject, guys, we need what? No. You know what? I'm sorry. So you need the subject, right? So this is the subject. And then what do you, what do you see? Guys, can, can you hear me? Because I, I cannot hear you guys. <laughs> okay, we need the verb be and the past, right? Yeah. Okay, now, now, why are we using was? You can, guys, there are two versions, right? You can use was and you can use where. Where, right? If it is plural, you're going to use where, but we're using a singular noun, right? So you can use, you can use was, okay? And then we have, how do we call these guys and girls? Fast. Participle. Participle, right? Cars. Very good, that's a past participle. And then we have the preposition by. Now, when are we gonna use the preposition by, guys? When, when the sentence is passive. No, passive you, you, will, you will, yes, but we, yes. We use them, we use them, guys, in sentences that are passive, right? However, we use them only when we want to uh, emphasize on the person who did it. Okay. Got it. So if we're not going to mention that, if we're not going to mention that we do not need to use by. Okay. Very good. So, all right. So any questions so far, guys? So far is it good? All right. Let's do a quick exercise, guys. I'm going to give you more examples. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give you more examples in simple in simple class. Okay, so let me clear this app and let's continue talking about. I'm gonna give you the active voice, right? And you're gonna give me the passive voice. Okay. So um, let's see. Give me a sentence that contains an object. Remember, guys, if it doesn't contain an object, you cannot turn it into passive, right? So let's see, guys. Who wants to help me? Uh, I want someone to give me a sentence in simple past, but this sentence has to contain an object. Who wants to do it? She mm -hmm. cleaned the, the hotel. I'm sorry, what? She cleaned the hotel. She, she cleaned the okay. house. Okay, very good. She cleaned the house. All right, I need another one. Let's go. Give me more examples, guys. So active voice, right? Active voice in. She read. She what? She read the book. She read. She the read. Book every day. She read. She the read book the book every day. Every day. Okay, very good. So she read the book every day, right? Good job. Thank you very much, Yancy. Give me another one, guys. So she cleaned the house. She read the book every day. Sorry. She... I I played video games yesterday. Okay, I played video games yesterday. All right, give me another one. She bought a new dress. She repeat, guys. Bought. She bought a new dress. 
dress. Very good, okay? When you say boat, if you say she bought a new dress, guys, you're saying ella barco, right? No, it's not a barco, right? She bought a new dress. Good job, Cecilia, right? Number five, give me another one, guys, and girls. My mom cooked cook the chicken free. All right, my mom what? Cooked chicken free. Repeat, cooked. My mom cooked chicken free. Chicken, chicken wings? Free. Free. Right. I don't know what is free. Free? Yes. Okay. Well, you can technically. So that means without chicken. Is that what you're trying to say? Without chicken? Pollo frito. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Fried. Repeat fried chicken. <laughs> Repeat fried chicken. Fried chicken. Okay. Very good. Uh, give me another one. Go ahead. Let's have he, one, he walks with me in the morning. She walked with me in the morning. Okay, very good. Who gave me that example? Oh, Jancy, was that you? Teacher? You, did you give me this example? Okay. Is this uh, she... Uh, he walks with me in the morning. Okay, right. Now, let me ask you something, guys. If they said, he walks with me in the morning. Yes. In the morning, right? Now, can I turn this into passive voice, yes or no? Blessing? No. no. Okay. What, what are the two main elements that we need in order to turn something into passive voice, guys. And first of all, I'm asking you about an example in the past, not in the present, right? But what are the two things that we need, the, the main two things that we need to turn something into passive voice? An um, object and a subject. Very good. We need the subject and the object, right? And we're missing something here, aren't we? What are we missing here? We're missing the object, right? Very good. Plus it's in simple person, but good job, good try. So let's let's try to have an object, the object of the sentence, guys, okay? All right, so number six, guys, I need another example. Thank you, Jancy, that, that was a good sentence, but we're missing an object, okay? All right, very good. So let's have another example, guys. What other example do we have? He opened the door. She opened the door. Okay, she opened the door. Very good. Very good. Number seven. Give me another one. We're going to have 10 at the end, right? Give me another one. Hello? What? Hello, people. Uh, I built a building last month. Uh, what was built? What was built last month? I'm sorry. A building. A building. Okay, a building was built, but okay, but then okay, this is already passive voice. Okay, I need an active voice. You can say they built a building last month okay very good he washed the ducks yesterday he washed the docks yeah. yesterday right very good good job number nine i wrote i wrote the letter i walked no i wrote right oh i wrote wrote, wrote. I wrote. repeat wrote. wrote i wrote the, the letter, letter. I wrote yep. the letter, okay, and number 10, guys. My son played the guitar. My son played the guitar. The guitar. Good job, all right? So, guys, I want everybody to turn these sentences. All right, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to take a screenshot, and, and I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group, okay? I'm going to take a screenshot, guys, and I want you guys to turn them into... Passive voice, okay? 
that's what you're gonna do. And then we're gonna review them together. Oh my God. Guys, my lights were almost, almost out. <laughs> 